Bitch, I'm so damn magical, bitch, I'm magical. Bitch, I'm so damn magical, bitch, I'm magical. Good morning, YouTube family. I hope everyone is having a great day, no matter where you are in this world. Today, this video is going to be about trying to conceive while having polycystic ovarian syndrome, also known as PCOS. So, excuse me. If you know me personally, you know that I've been dealing with this since I was I want to say about 12 but I wasn't diagnosed until I was about 23 and I always wondered first of all why my periods were like 90 days long then I'll start bleeding for like a week. Then they'll come back or I'll miss a period for like six months thinking I'm pregnant or just so many other things. And when I would go to the doctor, they would say, oh, it's normal. Everybody's period is different and yada, yada, yada. You won't, you probably won't be able to have children and we're going to put you on birth control and this and that and that and this. So when I actually found out what was the cause of my heavy bleedings and long periods, I started doing research. And when I started to do the research, I looked up natural remedies to heal these cysts because everything can be healed. And I know that my cysts come from an un unhealthy attachment or connection to my womb space. I was molested by a cousin when I was younger, so it made me look at that area differently. And then I had what some people know as hydrodentitis, is like when you get little cysts and abrasions on your under pits or your boobs or whatever. I got mine under my pits and on my lady part. So then that was something else, like what the freak is wrong with me? So when I started doing my research, I learned that I could heal myself with herbs. So I started using calendula or however you pronounce it, um, mugwort, motherworth, yarrow, uh, lavender, I believe I had. I was just using, I had made me a whole Yanni Steam herbal pack and I will insert pictures because I used to sell them. Um, and they really helped me. I would smoke it. I would put it in my spiritual baths. I would make tea out of it because everything I used was edible. I made sure of that. And when I tell you just a month of me using it, dramatic change. First of all, my periods went from being super heavy and super long to normal. Well, this is what I call normal my first two days are like really light then my next two days are like in between like I wouldn't say like super super heavy but they were heavy-ish to regular and it would just taper off and I will only have a period for like five days whoop whoop hallelujah thank you Jesus and I was so amazed that I was like, listen, if these herbs did this for me, imagine what they could do for so many other women. Because first of all, people don't realize when you see women with facial hair, like I got my little mustache and my little chin hairs, but it comes from having cysts on your ovaries. Now, that's not always the case, but in I don't want to say majority but in a lot of cases that's the that's the cause of it and that can be very that could be a self-conscious thing like oh they're looking at my mustache or they can see my chin hair da, 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 da. and to have these beautiful herbs in front of me and they're healing me in such a way it, it was just amazing and I just want to share some tips with ladies who are going through the same thing that I I'm still going through it one of my sister gone but I still have one 
on my right side which is two centimeters and I only learned about that because when I found out I was pregnant they did a transvaginal ultrasound and she looked at my ovaries and they wrote that down but whatever so first of all you want to heal whatever it is that is causing that unhealthy relationship between you and your sacred space your womb space i know for me that is still dealing with the fact that i was molested i've gotten over it but i haven't healed it which is why i still have one left i've come to terms with the scarring that was left from my skin problems because it's like it's 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 not that bad like i've seen some people's and it's like oh thank god mine is not like that but you know whoever decides to marry me that's just something that they're gonna have to come to terms with like i don't have no disease or nothing like that it just came from a skin problem and it is what it is um definitely heal that space find you some herbs do extensive research because if you're trying to get pregnant some of the herbs that i use you should not use period because if you do get pregnant it can cause you to have a miscarriage so do research on herbs that can heal cysts on ovaries but are safe for pregnancy or something in that nature choose your wording wisely i would say and always make sure you get your herbs from a straight up organic source i got mine from it's called mountain something i will put the name in my description box and it's another one called i believe star west they are really good too they're nice um but that's super important. You can't just go to your local spirit shop and get herbs from there because a lot of the times those herbs are just not healthy, okay? I had brought my first batch of herbs from my local spirit shop and I was like, these look kind of funky, but you know, I really, I didn't know much about herbs. So I used them anyway. And when I called them and asked, um, you know, are your herbs organic? Do you recommend using them for teas? And da, 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 da. They was like, no, we don't recommend you use those herbs for that at all. Um, they're mostly for what they told me. I forgot what they told me, but it basically using them for herbs is I know no like I didn't mean to say herbs using them for teas is a no-no so get you some healthy herbs make sure you pray over them set your intentions that you want them to heal your ovaries and allow you to be fertile and all that beautiful stuff and set a daily self-care routine because that will help you too I personally when I started my healing journey for my womb space, I love to light me some sage and paleo santos together because that smell combination is amazing. And it just make you feel so good. And I would play Beyonce, brown skin girl in the background, some Jill Scott, and just get my vibe on until my vibration was so high that I was floating like nobody could tell me nothing last year. This year, I stopped taking care of myself. My son is in school, so... I haven't really been focusing on me then i'm pregnant again so it's like i need to get back to that sam and focus on healing and helping those that i'm supposed to reach out to so don't let your doctors tell you that having cysts on your ovaries is a sentence where you will never be able to have children because they told me that when i was a child okay i was still in my teens and they told me that and I had a, I, okay, first of all, I did have one miscarriage. Let me put that out there. But then I got pregnant with my son, like, right after that. Had him healthy, happy. Hello, thank you, Jesus. Now I'm pregnant again, and we weren't even trying. You know, God works in mysterious ways. I'm so grateful for a baby, too. But, you know, 
Heal yourself. Heal that womb space. And while you're in the process of, of healing, if you... I don't want to say if you feel led to have a baby. If God put that in you, it is what it is. Then you can look at your doctor like, bitch, where? Like... I, I I really cannot stand when they tell people, oh, you you can't have kids. How you know? How you know? Just because I have cysts on my ovaries. I had two cysts on my ovaries plus pearling. Like, and I still have a beautiful child. Like, come on now. Stop telling people that when you don't even know for sure. God works in mysterious ways. I'm telling you. Okay, before I start raining, let me bring it down. I'm here to give you a message, and that is just to heal those cysts, love. Heal them, and while you're healing them, live your best life. Live the life that you want right now in this moment. Allow all those toxic and traumatic whatevers that's surrounding or within your womb, release that shit. Allow it to go where it needs to go because it is no longer serving you. It ain't doing nothing but hurting you. And whoever caused that hurt to you and whoever caused that trauma or toxic energy to you, they live in their life. Whether they here on this earth or whatever, they live in their life. But we still stuck holding on to the shit that they did to us. We got to let that go. Let it go. Pray on it. Journal on it. Do what you need to do to heal your sacred space and get rid of those cysts on your ovaries. Because birth control, for me personally, it was not the way to go. I had the IUD and it fucked me up. Headaches every single day. Never dealt with that before until I got that IUD in me. Then when I went to the doctor, they wouldn't even take it out of me. I had to go somewhere else to get it out. After I told them that it was hurting me. After I told them that it was causing me constant headaches and migraines. Once that IUD got removed out of my body, my body did a sigh of relief. And I have not had consistent headaches since. Do you hear me? Put your health your body first this is all that we really have control over our bodies do what you need to do like i said do your research that is so important do your research and find out what works for you i hope you come back to this channel and tell me your success stories because i look forward to it I have faith in you and I know that you can do it. I love you and I'm off to get my day started. You be blessed and be happy and just be love. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love.